Thank you very much. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a, it's a pleasure to be a first speaker. Not so, but I will try to share a little bit our vision about the future and how we see the artificial intelligence. Because I think now the artificial intelligence is something which everybody uh, feels differently. Yeah? That's, that's why I think it may be interesting to see some, some maybe, sometimes it's maybe yeah, just opposite vision, but it's our way, for example. A little, bit, a little bit about the artificial intelligence. So a little bit about to going to the future, we need to see what's happened, what was going in the past. So we think that artificial intelligence is starting from the, any kind of optimization process when the computer coming in our life, and we can see some kind of different things which can be done before. And these things is the games, chatbots, which already knows, I think, yeah. Uh, of course, the voice recognition. So the people love because they can try to avoid any kind of typing. And image recognition, which give us some sorts of potential possibilities to find uh, people in, in some virtual world. But again, the main, uh, the main uh, target of the artificial intelligence is, from our view, it's optimization and classification, uh, structured data, create the logic mapping, and of course, finally, we can see the self-learning and define four defined targets algorithms. What it means, yeah? For example, the IBM is the, one of the biggest and the most powerful company in the world which built the artificial intelligence platform which can unify a lot of knowledge and try to self-learn a lot of knowledge from any sources which is possible to find. Yeah. And of course, the Google DeepMind which can try to learn how the people are reacting and making decisions and try to do the same way and have a great success uh, some time ago. And of course, Google, which is also one of the biggest companies in the world, which is try to make some kind of grasping training for the, finally, for the physical world optimization. So when you see not only some uh, nice opportunities in the virtual world, which we understand it's already happened, but also in the physical world. What is, what is the reason from our side um, why we choose the food area, yeah? The food, the food is an art uh, from one side, and the food is something which we need every day from the other side. So the chef Watson, they start making uh, analytical tools which can find some kind of connection between the different type of recipes. So they, can, they, they try to find some connection between ingredients, what the ingredients can be together, what's the, um, how often you can see it. And finally, finally, this platform try to build some new recipes which cannot be uh, done before. But from our side, we think the artificial intelligence is a little bit different. Uh, because what the computer or any kind of algorithmic process can do, they can definitely do and find the optimal way how to reach well-defined target. So you can give the rules and you can give some kind of uh, explanation and definition of what you want to have in the end. In this case, of course, the virtual and physical optimization can be done very quickly and very efficiently and much, much more efficiently than you can done personally. But the same way, uh, what what's we don't see possible right now, maybe in the future, but we'll see, uh, it's not possible to define the targets. It's not possible to understand what is the reason to do something. Why we need something? What do we want today? What do we want in the future? and what we are like, and what we are afraid, and so on. So this is, a, this is a major question which can move us to the future, because 
all things which is done before and which is doing now, this is a this is an area. It's guided by our emotion. Our emotions. It's one of the major guidance of any kind of progress in the world. We want to do something. We like something. We see something in the future, and maybe there is no reason to see it. Maybe, but we making it. I want to make some small example. What do you feel now, looking on these next couple of pictures? Please, uh, if you have some, some, some answer, uh, can you answer now? Because it's a very important question. I think if you can give us the answer, it will be interesting to understand what you're feeling now. Okay. The main answer is definitely not D, <laughs> which is good because what I can talk now, there is no reason to go to the space. Uh, there is nothing for us there. We are start dreaming about the space because we think that there is some kind of magic inside and there is something very important for us. And sometimes we are looking for the, for the, for the stars and we feel a lot, of, a lot of emotion because I think somebody programmed us for that. Somebody guided us to this space for some reason. We don't know why, but we spend, a lot of, we spend a lot of money. We spend a lot of money and time to build the spaceships, to build the harbor and other devices. This is maybe the next question, how artificial intelligence can see, yeah? So there is some object which we can define very well and understand that it looks like uh, we can define this is a bird, this is a, this is a uh, I don't know, some kind of, they sitting somewhere, but how we see this? We can see this differently. And this is a, our human creativity, which is not logic, which is something which we feel and which we create by ourselves. Of course, after that, computer can learn it and can, and can recognize that it's more or less the same object, but it's absolutely different object, and we understand the difference. But computer d do not understand this difference. Uh, going to our invention a little bit, why we created. Uh, this is a this is a uh, first dish which we which we'll cook by the robotic device, we, this is a, uh, Tim Anderson, he is one of the best chef in the UK, and he cooked this thing, we, we take all his motion, we record it, uh, of course we record all the ingredients and other things and timing, and he cooked this soup for us and the robot can cook it after him without any mistake with the same flavor. I have a question uh, from the people who, who is here. Who can cook this soup by himself? <laughs> Good. Ah. I'm inside the 42%, unfortunately. Even I see it many times, but this is, this is very interesting, yeah. Nice. So. Uh, this is a couple of variations of the crab bisque soup. What it means variation? It means that we use more or less the same ingredients, of course different timing, of, of course different cooking skills. But I have a question now. Who can cook all these soups by themselves? Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a predictable answer. So the question, our vision of artificial intelligence is how to collect the knowledge from a lot of individuals and give access to this knowledge to a lot of individuals. So it means that in this case, you can learn how to do something. You, you have d direct connection to this knowledge, and you can create some new product based on this knowledge. And you can find the artificial intelligence, can find the best and quickest way to do something, because you don't need to go to the, some chef to somewhere, maybe in Australia or somewhere. You can, you can find definitely the recipe on the platform. You can test it after that and it should be the same quality and the same test like the chef doing. That's why we created this robotic kitchen, which can do very simple things for now, yeah? But if you, maybe one year ago, uh, imagine, is it possible to create the machine which can cook more or less this, any kind of dish in the world? Everybody is saying, no, it's not possible because it's, it's a magic, you need some kind of molecular special integrator and something like that. But the question is, is this architecture connecting to the, to the, to the, to the mind of the, uh, a lot of chefs, it's, it's thought to be possible. And that's why we have created this. And the process is very simple. There is nothing in the, in the, in the nuclear physics or something else. So ingredient preparation, cooking process and plating. Only one, one key point is we have the same initial condition like chef has, the same equipment, the same ingredient, and the same process. We manage all the cooking processes like a baked, grill, cutting, I don't know, making something, and we got the same result because this is a mathematical model because if you have the same initial condition and going through the same process, you will definitely have the same result. This is a very important thing because in the cooking process, everything is very non-defined. Non so we do anything until we see some results. But this result, sometimes it's a smell, sometimes it's color, sometimes it's timing. So it means there is no any rules how to cook. Yeah? There is some kind of steps. But the question is, if on each step you make a mistake, uh, finally you got the wrong dish. It may be nice, but it's different. Uh, this is a little bit about the mathematical model, about the result accuracy optimization. So I think we can pass it through. But the main thing is the probability to have the same result with a different, for example, if you have not the same equipment or not the same timing, is going very fast. So in this case, uh, why it's not so popular to buy the cooking books? Because there is nothing optimized inside. The chef cook on his own uh, equipment and use his own e uh, ingredient. And that's why when we start copying, we make a lot of mistake, and each step mistake give us higher and higher probability to have not the same result. That's why the current limit limited factor, for example, we don't use any kind of sensing technology. We don't understand how to food texture affect the dish. We don't understand ingredient quality compensation. But what we are doing, we are optimizing everything by the chef. For example, if we are going for the some area which we need to serve the dish, the chef take ingredients from this area and they cook perfectly. And after that, you definitely got the same result. And this is how we see the management of the knowledge. So we can easily find from the number of filters special targets, for example, what kind of ingredient we want to use, how many calories we want to have in a dish, what is the uh, country of the cuisine, what is the type of the dish, do you have some allergen, are you wants to have vegetarian and type of equipment which you want to use, and also the chef name, of course. In this case, we can easily find definitely what we want to find by the clicking few buttons and we, have a, we can find just what you want in a second and have access to this knowledge. And this is a, the purpose of the artificial intelligence. So, and also what we are trying not to forget about the emotional side as well, yeah? Because one of our features is to cook something 
uh, after you. So you can record your own recipe. Your mother or grandmother can record it for you or for your children. So, and we want to see some particular movement of this person. We want to see some, a little bit more personal things, yeah? So at kids, it gives us some ways how to keep the tradition and keep something, not only quality or tasty, and something emotional part of the dish. That's how we see the future. Thank you.